shortly after 9-11 had happened. I was doing my field research when 9-11 happened. And in any case, at the time when the big controversy came out about did the Geneva Conventions apply in Iraq and, and Afghanistan, and I realized that most Americans didn't know enough about the Geneva Conventions to have a basis for even evaluating the truth or falsity value of those statements that the government was making. They didn't know anything about it at all. And then when Abu Ghraib happened, it kind of broke my heart because I thought of those, I saw those young people, here I was in a college of education and I saw those young people over there who had done these terrible things and I thought, in the 12 years they were in our care, did we ever teach them anything that helped them, that could have helped them negotiate that situation? So I started looking at social studies standards. No, we hadn't. And I felt like we had failed them. Everybody was demonizing those few bad apples, but I felt, no, we failed them because we never prepared them for what the rest of the world knows about humanitarian law, human rights. And so getting human rights and humanitarian law into the core education, not the elite education, became an absolute passion for me. And it still is. Because the upper middle class, the progressives, their kids all go through high school. They've got all the requirements out of the way by the time they're done with their sophomore or half of their junior year. They take electives. They take maybe a human rights class as a social studies elective and their parents all pat them on the back for it. They're not the ones who are gonna sign on the dotted line as soon as they turn 18 and join the armed services because that's the only way out of the poverty they're in. So if human rights, humanitarian law doesn't get into the core, it doesn't get to the students who have the right to receive it from.